Glass Onion, Ryan Johnson's Knives Out mystery has become one of the most watched movies on Netflix of all time. But what do you do when you've watched it and you've watched it again? Well, you find some movies that are very similar. And that's exactly what this video will do for you. Will you explain it to us then, detective? Really, Duke? Really? Hello and welcome to Screen OD, a channel for people who love TV, movies and streaming. My name's Tim, I'm an editor and a journalist who's been writing and talking about the media industry for more than 15 years. And today we are looking at movies that you'll like if you like Glass Onion. So let us not waste a moment of anyone's time and let's start with our first movie. The murderer is one of you. Were you aware of any grudges? Madame is used to getting what she wants. Never again. I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe with any of that. If you like a mystery, you can't get better than Agatha Christie. And that rhymes, not intentionally, but I'm glad that it rhymes. And this, The Death on the Nile, is the story of a newlywed couple who invite their friends on a wedding cruise down the Nile. But of course, there is going to be a murder. And on this occasion, the person who's going to sort it all out is Kenneth Branagh, playing the, of course, iconic character of Hercule Poirot. If you want one that will keep you guessing until the end, unless you've seen previous versions of this or read the book, then this is a movie that will remind you a lot of Glass Onion. Maybe not quite so silly in places, but certainly a movie that has whodunit written all over it. Not literally. Should we pull it up? No, it's a foot long now. Yeah. Will you listen to my husband? He's a detective. I'll put it back. Don't put it back. My name is Inspector Laurent Delacroix. I will now summon you for questioning. Murder Mystery is one of those very satisfying movies in the sense that the title tells you exactly what you are going to get. A Netflix film starring Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston, as you might expect from the two leads, this is a movie that does have quite a lot of comic elements in it. However, if you're looking for something that's quite a light-hearted whodunit, which will keep you busy until the next Knives Out adventure, then Murder Mystery is certainly one for your list. Put it on your list. I have. Every person in this room has the perfect motive. Stand back! For murder. What do you mean? Murder. But only one of these suspects is the murderer. If, like me, you think there just aren't enough movies based on board games that you play with your family, then you need Clue from 1985 in your life. We call it Cluedo in the UK, but you'll recognise all the characters, Mrs White and Professor Plum and Colonel Mustard. They're all there, Miss Scarlet. And essentially, everyone turns up in a New England house and there has been a murder. They've got to work out who's done it before anyone else gets murdered. This is quite a lot of fun and is something a little bit different if you're used to watching the modern murder mysteries like Glass Onion. Ah, while I have you there, I'd be interested to know what films you would recommend to someone who has seen Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery. Leave them in the comments below and we can discuss them as a Screen OD community. And of course, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that like button and you can subscribe to the channel for all the best content direct to your feed. Right, that's enough of these adverts. Let's move on with our list. Someone was rummaging around my cabin in the middle of the night. No one would listen to me. If there was a murder... What is going on? Then there was a murderer. The murderer is with us. And every one of you is a suspect. And who are you? My name is Hercule Poirot. And I'm probably the greatest detective in the world. Now that Hercule Poirot, if he is nothing else, is a modest man. And we've got another Agatha Christie adventure here with Murder on the Orient Express as 13 strangers thunder through the European countryside on a beautiful, luxurious train. But there has been a murder. And of course, it's Hercule Poirot's job to try and work out who done it. This is one with Kenneth Branagh back at the heart of the action and lots and lots of stars around him. But who done it? 
So this prisoner escapes in the last 24 hours. We don't know how she got out of her room. It's as if she evaporated straight through the walls. We haven't heard the truth once yet, but no one will talk. It's like they're scared of something. It's all down, all the lines, even radio. Whatever the hell's going on here, it's bad. We need to ask you some questions, okay? Leonardo DiCaprio stars as Teddy Daniels, a US Marshal turned detective in this fantastic Martin Scorsese movie. Something is awry on Shutter Island and Teddy Daniels is going to find out what has happened. But the more he delves into things, the scarier this story gets. This is certainly a lot darker than Glass Onion, but if you like a whodunit, then this is one that has that element to it. Are you Sophia's sleuth? I knew a Hayward once. He did well for himself until he was murdered. These people, they were born rich, so they think no one else is good enough. He's a gold digger. I'd like to strangle that woman with my bare hands. You just can't have too many Agatha Christie movies on a list about Glass Onion. Thankfully, because we've got another one here in the shape of Crooked House, which is a slightly different take on the whodunit drama. This time we have someone employing their ex-lover as a detective to find out who killed their grandfather. Yes, it's a story that has relationships. It's a story that has family. But as you're looking for a whodunit, it's also a story that has murder. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request that you all stay until the investigation is completed. What? Can we ask why? Has something changed? No. No, it hasn't changed or no, we can't ask. Well, it wouldn't be right to have a Glass Onion and Knives Out mystery list without including on it the 2019 movie Knives Out, which is, of course, also from Ryan Johnson and also stars Daniel Craig as the private detective Benoit Blanc. This is one about a dysfunctional family and a whodunit that is based around them. This is classic stuff for anyone who likes Glass Onion, and I'm sure you will enjoy this first in the series, and I believe believe there are probably going to be more. Right, that's it. There are some great movies for you to watch if you enjoy A Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, and if you enjoy the genre of the whodunit. Some new, some old, some on Netflix, some not. I mean, there really is something for everyone there. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, if you found it interesting, insightful, or educational in any way, why not hit that like button and share the love with other people on YouTube. Go check out all the other recommendations on the Screen OD channel, and we will see you again for more videos very, very soon. Bye.